everyone, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode here of the Let's Play series. Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day. Guys, today we are going to be doing some more work on the trading hall in the hub project. Uh, but before we do that, my friends, I just want to start off once again by saying a massive thank you for all of the support throughout the series. We reached well over 4,000 likes in the last episode, guys, which is really, really nice to see. Thank you so much for that. If we can keep it up with at least 3,000 as a likes per episode that would be absolutely fantastic so the first thing i want to do is i want to make sure that i have enough resources to go ahead and cure a ton of villagers now as you can see we've got ourselves 49 apples i had them all sort of stacked away inside this chest here and i've got all of the gold that i've got in my world you know from the uh, from the bartering farm and everywhere else and this is what i've got going on so uh, what we're going to start off by doing though is we will make ourselves netherite ingots because in the last episode i'm pretty sure we smelted up uh, some of the ancient debris so we've got four of those on our person now so we've got nine golden apples which is a good start but I think what we're going to do is go for a bit of a mining session in the nether because for those of you guys unaware you no longer get uh, gold ingots from the from the golden ore inside of the nether. I mean I don't know what the stipulation is like I'm pretty sure you get golden nuggets now. I wonder if the fortune enchantment would work with it and more to the point I would be interested in knowing if picking up the ore in ore form and then putting it in a furnace would still give yourself of a gold ingot like i honestly don't know so yeah all right guys so here's what i'm thinking we've got four ingots right so let's go for the four backup tools let's do all of these ones shall we so yep there's the netherite pickaxe oh wait i don't even have a name for this one <laughs> interesting all right well we've got uh, withers nightmare here we've got pain and suffering here and finally terraformer all upgraded. Alrighty, guys. So let's go ahead and check out this uh, ore here. So can we still pick it up in ore form? Okay, yes, we can. Good. Oh, good to know. So let's go ahead and maybe put it in a blast furnace and then see what happens. Okay, so in you go. Okay, so it can still be smelted. And do we still get a gold ingot from it? Yes, we do. Okay, cool. So, let's go ahead and give Fortune a go, though, because I'm pretty sure by default you get at least a few nuggets from the ore when you mine it with a non-silk touch tool, right? So, yep, yeah, break that real quick. Okay, so there's some more ore just above us here. With a non-silk touch tool, you go ahead and get yourself some nuggets. So, that's what, eight there? Okay. Eighteen! Whoa! Huh! So it might actually be more worthwhile digging it up with a fortune pickaxe. Because on one occasion there, you saw me get 10 golden nuggets. Now obviously you only need 9 to make 1 ingot. So that's still a profit of a nugget, right? Whoa! Look at these fossil structures. They're like on little platforms. Dude, that's so cool. I love that. <laughs> that is really, really awesome. I really enjoy that. Oh, man. All right, well, here we are in a soul sand valley. Okay, so there is a little bit of gold up there, so I might go ahead and see if I can't uh, land just over here. There we go. There's a little bit more up here as well, which is great. Okay, here we go. So, uh, 36 gold nuggets. In fact, let me just chuck those away for a sec. I just want to see how many I get. So, 18? What? 12? Okay. 16. Oh my god. Fortune is so worth it. Oh my god. Okay, well, for those of you guys who want to get a very much increased yield of gold from the nether, use fortune on nether gold. Oh goodness me, what the... Son of a gun. Okay, do you mind not freaking, like, making my poo my pants or something? Can you, like, stop doing that? And... Dead. And... Uh, dead and dead and dead and who else wants to go huh well guys i tell you what if you ever want to do a really effective way to get gas tears then uh, here you go obviously gas tears i'm pretty sure are very useful for respawning the ender dragon right with the end crystals wait, 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 wait. hang on a minute this guy is that a hot boy did he come all the way over here oh goodness uh, uh, did he spawn with a saddle on? 
Hang on a minute. Dude, I, I'm telling you guys, you're going to have to take my word for it, but I did not put a saddle on that guy. I swear to the Lord God, I did not put a saddle on that guy. These guys could spawn with saddles? Ah, here we go, my friends. So the uh, newer nether wasteland biome, in my opinion, is probably going to be the easiest place to find gold ore, right? So, yep, there's some right there. I'm pretty sure there's a little bit over here as well. And there. Yeah, because it's all regular netherrack, it's so much easier to see the different kinds of ores, right? Compared to the uh, crimson and warped forests where it's sort of blue and it sort of covers up other areas. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, here we go. Ah, uh, it's Nugget Country! Ah, yeah! <laughs> ah, here we go, my friends. So, a crafting table, and now we should be able to start consolidating all of the nugs. All right. Oh my god, well, there's 64! <laughs> oh, wow! That is so cool! Oh my goodness, I'm so glad I discovered this uh, really effective method of getting gold. If you want to get gold, go to the nether with a fortune pickaxe. Oh god, I forgot about these guys. Uh, where's my piglin cap? Huh, huh, there it is. <sighs> piglin, get No! Love me, you better love me. I will kick your butt. I will, I will, I will kick your butt. And you're dead. <laughs> That's what you get, sucker. Hey, check it out, guys. There's another fortress over there. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm just trying to get gold, but I mean, if we're going to turn this into an accidental half-exploration episode, then I don't know about you guys, but I'm kind of down with that. <laughs> oh, man, there's just so much stuff to do here now. It's just so satisfying. The only thing you don't get a great deal of is XP from uh, mining up the gold. But you know what? I don't think that's really too much of an issue. I think that may be the trade-off, right? So usually when you smelt gold, you get yourself a ton of XP from furnaces, right? Whereas if you were to just mine it up with a fortune pickaxe, yeah, you're going to get yourself an increased yield of gold, but you get less XP. So maybe that's the trade-off. All right, guys, so I tell you what, should we do a little bit of an experiment with this gold? So let's go ahead and actually dig up the ore, and then I want to sort of keep count of how many I've got. Then we dig it up with fortune, right? And then we see just how many ingots we can make out of it, okay? I want to do a little experiment here. So uh, that's, what, 13 ore. Okay, I feel like that's a good amount to start off with. So let's just pop over here, and let's start placing them down rather like so. Okay, so 13 is the amount we placed down, guys. Uh, let's get rid of that one nugget, just so this is a fair test. So with fortune, let's see just how many we get here. Oh my goodness, sometimes you get an insane amount of nuggets. Okay, so we dug up 13. How many do we get? 15. Okay, so yeah, it is a really, really good, effective way of getting the... Uh, of getting the ingots here. Oh, well, hey there, with his skeletons, trying to guard this gold eye. Yeah, that's cute. Dead. Dead. Oh, no. Oh, they put up such a fight, didn't they? Oh, my goodness me. Ah, looks like we've got a proper sheltered section in this one. I feel like we've been really unlucky with nether fortresses on this world. Uh, because all of the sheltered sections just go directly to dead ends, as opposed to going to an actual area and having treasure chests, you know? <sighs> all right, well, yeah, I'm hoping that there'll be a good amount around here. Huh. So, interestingly, I haven't found a single treasure chest yet, which is kind of weird. Normally, I feel like I would have found at least one or two by now. Uh, but, I don't know, maybe there's a maybe there's a bug in the game at the moment, whereby treasure chests in uh, nether fortresses aren't generating. Oh, no, 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 maybe not. <laughs> there's one! Yay! Okay, well, there's no bug going on here. Oh, hey there, buddy, and you're dead. Sorry, Budski. All right, what do we got? Iron ingots? Yeah, it's not like we don't have a ton of those already, huh? Ah, jeez. Uh, do we want to... I kind of want to take the gold sword, actually, because then we can use it for bartering, can't we? Hey! It's been a while since I've seen one of these. Ah, oh, yeah. We've got a crimson forest here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my God. Look at the size of that glowstone stack, bro. Whoa! Okay, I kind of want to grab that. <laughs> I kind of want to grab it, dude. I can't help it. I'm drawn to large deposits of... Oh, goodness. I'm drawn to large deposits of glowstone. It's just such a good lighting source to have, isn't it? Oh, God. Okay. 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 Uh, so, yeah, it turns out you are not invisible to hoglins, even if you do have a piglin cap on. Hey there, buddy. Oh, wait. Are you okay now? Oh. Oh, goodness me. Oh. Nope. Okay, maybe not. Uh, ah! Where's my chicken? There it is. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, 
If I kill these guys with fire aspect, does that mean that I'll get myself like a whole bunch of uh, cooked meat? I don't know. I just don't know. Uh, hey there, buddy. And... Uh, what? How did that miss? I'm well, like... Oh, I'm so confused. Oh, uh, hey there, little buddies. Okay, let's see. Will, will you take this? Here. Oh, we took it. Okay. Right, you're going to give me something in return? Come on, baby. What you going to give me today? Nothing? What? Hey! You robbed me, you son of a gun! You don't deserve to... Oh, okay. So you... Huh! No! Uh... Okay. You were gonna rob me, are you? You know what? I'm not okay with this. Alright. Dead. No! No. No robbing of the Pythonator shall ever happen. Well, guys, there you go. Probably one of the most effective ways of now getting gold ingots in Minecraft if you so need it. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Got ourselves a whole bunch of other resources as well, which, of course, is very, very cool. So now what we need to do, ladies and gentlemen, is make ourselves a villager infection chamber. That is right. We're going to go ahead and give a go towards that little project because, yeah, by going ahead and converting the villagers into zombie villagers and then curing them, they will go ahead and give you some very very hefty discounts which is what i am looking for because i like discounts discounts are great they really really are ah okay so perfect it is becoming night time so all we need to do is try and get ourselves just a regular zombie that's all we need what how how does that miss there's gotta be a bug with projectiles in this game dudes there really really does like the amount of times i've shot a mob like clearly shot a mob oh Oh, okay, maybe not. It's becoming it's become a daytime. <laughs> well, actually, maybe we don't need to go ahead and get a zombie. Maybe we could just use this guy. Can he pick stuff up? I mean, if he's been uh, infected anyway, then he shouldn't ever wind up despawning, as far as I know. Uh-huh. Okay, so basically, all we're going to do is we're going to sort of break our way into the room back there. Let's say uh, maybe through here. Okay, and then we need to make ourselves a little sort of minecart rail leading into an eventual little room Which is going to become the infection chamber and then we need to have like an output rail Where the infected villagers can then get cured and then we start sending them off into each of these different rooms So yeah, if you remember there is going to be uh, a lot of villagers in there So 24 around the outside although 22 technically because we've already got two here and then another bunch in the middle here So that'll be what an Another 24, I think? Wow, we're going to have 48 villagers in here. All right, guys. So let's see if we can get this thing done, right? So this is going to be the output rail. So when the uh, villagers get uh, converted, I will then go ahead and pop this thing. So this is where they'll be. We go ahead and we pop this thing. So it now opens up. They go down to that rail and get sent off to wherever, wherever it is they're going to go, right? So what that means is we need to go ahead and close this. So this is where they're going to land. So this is going to be like the input put rail, I guess. Uh, so let's go ahead and grab ourselves some rails here real quick. Uh, just need to place them on there. And then, yeah, we just need to make sure there's no rail on top of that one, right? So that's totally, totally fine. Although with that said, it might be a nice idea to maybe have them go at maximum speed going into there. I feel like that would make sense. So there we go. Now, here's the thing, guys. Here's the thing. We need to try to get the villager zombie or the, the, the infection zombie, like patient zero. We need to get him in here, basically. Uh, so, yeah, this is the location where he's going to go. So all we need to do, guys, is add another rail doing something like this. Okay, and then yeah, it's gonna drop in there and what we're gonna wind up doing is we're gonna wind up putting down a Trap door rather like this and then pushing it into where the zombie is right So yeah, that's gonna be how we do this thing and it is enough to the point where the minecart shouldn't ever wind up colliding into each other Oh, huh that worked. Okay, cool. Right. So I've purpose. Oh wait. I've purposely not got any armor on because I want this guy to, like, go all the way along. What if I make myself a minecart and then sort of push him? Like, would that work? I've got no idea. Well, all we can do is give it a go, right? So, where's the minecart? There it is. Okay, boom. So, if we sort of push another minecart against him, then... Yeah, there we go. Oh, God! 
Hey, that actually worked. Cool. <laughs> well, that's easy. All right, so there we go. We've got the villager zombie in there. So all we need to do is grab ourselves another sticky piston or just a regular piston, actually. Uh, do we have a regular piston? Nope, we need to go back to our storage room. Darn it, man. Alrighty, so if we can get that placed in the correct direction. Okay, fantastic. And then all we need to do is... Oh, jeez, we just need to power it, right? So, boop, do that. And then he's now stuck in there. Yeah. Hey, what are you doing in it? Get out of here. Oh, man, I kind of wish I came across him earlier. <laughs> All right, guys, so I had a slightly more different and, well, very much more direct idea as to how to get the villagers down here, right? So, obviously, we're going to be utilizing our villager breeder again. Uh, so, we need to start allowing the villagers to come down here. Now, all I'm thinking of, like, very, very simply, <laughs> is just putting in, like, a suspended water source and then just having the villagers drop down here, right? I mean, that should work, shouldn't it? It should do. Well, according to my coordinates, this should be the drop area. Please don't let me bump into any other farms. Yay! It worked! Okay, so here we go. Yeah, it worked perfectly. Okay, so all we need to do is get back up top, and then we need to have the uh, rail connect up with the villager breeder rail system, and then we should be able to actually give this thing a go. Well, guys, it sure has been a while since we've been around here, huh? So here we go, villager breeder. A bunch of these are only novice villagers. In other words, I haven't tamed them. Uh, not tamed them, trade with them. So, yeah, what that means is they should be able to change their trade or whatever it is I want them to be, I guess. So what we need to do is put some minecarts back in here. And as far as I know... That should still work, right? Okay, yeah, cool, cool, cool. So when the villagers get in the cart, it will then be, in air quotes, heavy enough to get up the hill. And then uh, they'll be sent over to where they need to be sent to, which is obviously really, really cool. What the heck happened here? What? Was there a creeper explosion here that I didn't even know about? What the heck, dude? That's so stupid. I guess it's got to be luck of the draw, really. We just have to make sure that we shut these trap doors in time before any villagers I don't want to go down come down. Okay, so, yeah, we just got to be nice and careful about it. All right, this guy has been traded with, so we can't do that one. Uh, this guy, you can go down because you haven't been traded with, nor do you even have a profession. Uh, come on, baby. Go down, man. Go down. You know you want to. Ah, oh, he got so close. Ah! Yes, yes, yes! Aha! Yeah-ha! Alright, now I need to get out. Ah! Ah! I can't- Oh, goodness me! Oh, God! Oh, God. This is just bad. This is real bad. I wanna- I- Sir? 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 I wanna get out. Thank you. Right. Uh, now he should have been sent away, yeah? Go on, down you go. Go on, get sent. Go, go, go. What? What? Oh, there he goes. Off you go, buddy! All right! All right, all right, all right! I'm just going to follow this guy. Hopefully, he goes all the way down. Down we go. We've got to go to the uh, trading room down here, which is this way, of course. And I'm hoping that he has just been infected. Um, okay, well, he's not even come down yet. Uh-huh. Ah, well, I found the issue. I don't think... Yeah, okay, I didn't have a powered rail here. Okay, I think that's all I need to do. So just pop that in, and then there we go. That's now powered. So now, if we follow this along, and then all the way down, he should be getting infected right now. Okay, I should be able to fall down in myself, actually. Whoop, there we go. Yeah, oh, that's not what I expected to have happen. Right, can you... Ah! Okay, that's weird. What I wanted to have happen... Okay, let me just take off my armor here. There we go. The uh, thorn spits anyway. You're supposed to go down. Go down, darn it. Serious. What? This worked in my creative test world. Yay! Ha! Oh, fantastic. Well, there we go, my friends. The villager breeder is now back up and running. However, to speed this up, I'm probably going to need to siphon off another adult villager. So, yeah. <sighs> Back to this painful procedure, huh? Yeah! Alright, well, there's another one gone. If we want maximum rates, I think what we need to do is have it so there's only four of these guys. Okay, so there's now five. Uh, let's maybe see if we can't get this guy out. Oh, come on. Or anyone who hasn't traded for that matter. Okay, maybe this guy. Go on, go on, go on. Ah, get down there. Darn it. 
Aha! There we go. Okay, so we now have only four adult villagers in here, which means we should start getting maximum rates for this thing, which is fantastic. Okay, so what that means is we can now get out of here and rest assured that this thing will be back up and running and good to go, right? So as long as there's a couple of farmer villagers in there, this thing should just be self-sufficient. I shouldn't have to do anything. However, with that said, I am kind of tempted to uh, maybe... Uh, oh, has this thing just run out? Wait, is it done? Really? They've all been sent off already? Oh my goodness. Oh my god, I just realized it might be a bit of a train wreck downstairs then. Oh, I should have just done one at a time. Wait, what? How is there a baby down here? I don't remember sending off a baby. What the? Oh, I'm so confused. All right, well, whatever the case, I guess these guys should wind up just claiming a new workstation. Like, this guy is... Like, unemployed, so hopefully he'll pick it up as soon as I get rid of the minecart. The only issue is, we can have all of these guys also go in there. Which is a pain. I'm not entirely sure what to do about this. Well, guys, I'll be honest, this has been an absolute pain in my backside, this little project. But I think I have finally got it fixed, guys. I think I finally got it fixed. So the issue I kept running into is this guy would keep pushing the minecart here away. So all I did here is raise up the minecart rails by a block so they dropped into that space so they could no longer move. And then we use the lever here to retract the block underneath. And then... And yeah, they get sent on their merry way to wherever it is we need them to go. So yeah, now we need to give it like a real world test, I guess. So yeah, guys, check it out. We've got ourselves another villager in here, uh, which is pretty awesome. So we've got a space here and then there's a space here as well. So okay, two more librarians and then we're good. So yeah, check it out. Knockback one looking pretty cool. Obviously, we'll cycle through the trades to get really, really good ones. But the fact of the matter is, guys, this thing is getting there slowly but surely. Ah, yes, do breeding many many breeding okay so yeah we should have two new villagers come out of this right two new villagers yep there's one okay cool 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 and there's the second cool all right so yep that thing is definitely working i went ahead and gave them all a bunch of bread as well so i could hopefully speed it up just a little bit but uh, basically the fact of the matter is the baby should now start heading down here and then getting caught in the pool here. And then they'll get picked up by the minecarts and then sent off to the area we need them to go to. So, yeah, let's just wait for the uh, villager babies to come down here. And then, yeah, all will be well. Ah, here we go. Hello. All right, you best get yourself in that minecart there, buddy. Off you go. There should now be a baby villager zombie in the infection chamber, okay? Okay. That's working. That's working. Yeah. Look at that. All right, so, yep, you've just been converted, so let's do the dropperoo. Whoop! Oh, my God, it worked! Oh! Okay, and, yeah, I might just have to give you a slight nudge. Yeah! We did it! Oh, we freaking did it, baby! Oh, I'm so happy about that. Okay, right, considering this guy is a baby, he might just be able to wander out, so I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to do this. There we go. Oh, coolio. Right, so, uh, yeah, this guy should be okay now, right? Boo! Come on. And boo! Come on! Break the darn thing! Ah! Okay. Break and... Oh, nope! No! You son of a gun! Mm. Okay, let's try it out again, ladies and gentlemen. This time, without wasting my resources and getting my villagers killed by the Iron Golem. Oh, that's so frustrating, man. <laughs> I set all of this stuff up, man, and then the uh, Iron Golem is just like, Nope! Nope! No success for you! Nothing! Alright, well, there we go. Yep. Okay, getting infected. There we go, and down you go. Right? Whoop! Okay, okay, okay. Into the place you go. Right, and then we cure you from the top, okay? I am not having you die! Goodness me. Okay, whoop! There we go, and... Okay, uh, I need to get out of here now. Ha! <gasps> I'm quite surprised he wasn't attacking me, but you know what? What's going on up here? Is there an iron golem up there? 
Yes, I know you're trying to protect my village, Mr. Gollum, but uh, you are definitely not helping when you go killing all of the guys I'm trying to cure, you know, in order for you to protect. You know? You know? You're killing the dudes who I'm trying to convert so you can protect them. You dumbo. Seriously, Iron Golems are just unbelievably stupid. Oh, and there we go, ladies and gentlemen. The final guy. Whoop. Eh, there we go. Oh, oh, my goodness me. Okay, so Knowledge Street is up and running, guys. Oh, man, I'm so happy to say that. <laughs> this has been an incredibly headachey episode for me to do, my friend. So, yeah, I really hope you guys have enjoyed it. I really hope you've learned a thing or two from this episode. Uh, yeah, basically, villagers are buttheads. Uh, Iron Golems are also buttheads. And, yeah, basically, sometimes I'm a bit of a doofus. So, yeah. Anyway, so there we go. There's the baby villager. And, oh, okay. So, we got out of his... Uh, he got out of, a, got out of his minecart as well. Huh. All right. Well, maybe I could pick it up somehow. I don't know how I would pick it up, though, if I'm being honest. Eh. Maybe, maybe you just have that. Maybe you just have it. <laughs> I'll, I'll figure out a way to uh, pick up the uh, minecarts another time. But, like I say, my friends, we're going to end the episode for now because, yeah... I need, I need some headache medication or something. <laughs> so the comment today is, Hey Python, you should build the tower in the middle of the villager market and put Brian on top, roaming over all of the villagers. Hey, I love that idea, man. Like Brian, the OG villager, put on top of the central dome tower thing, right? That's a lovely idea. I actually really, really like that one. So thank you so much for that suggestion. So... Yeah, when it comes down to it, yeah, we'll put Brian inside of here as well. And then we can have our episode one house back finally, guys. It's only been like, what, 50 plus episodes he's taken over. So, yeah. <laughs> But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode, please do be sure, of course, to drop a like rating. I'd very much appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to ding that bell if you guys don't want to miss out on future content. But by the sounds of it, there was another villager. So, let's get, let's get Farmer's Market up and running. Why not, man? We need to start getting all the things done. Aha! Cool. Yeah. All right. Nice one. Well, I'm glad that uh, we're getting a steady supply of villagers coming in. That's cool. <laughs> so, yeah, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Do have yourselves a fantastic rest of your day. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Have a great day, guys. See you later. <laughs>